Before we say a word regarding the different means to scrape Google Maps, we have to first define what web scraping means. Web scraping is a technique to automate data collection from a website. In other words, it helps us to replace an intern job. We no longer need to copy and paste data hundreds of times or thousands of times. Data is paramount for our business. However, from a creative point of view, it's pointless. It's definitely a boring task. Once data has been gathered, we can use it for different purposes. We can use it to conduct market research, to spy our competitors, to monitor prices, or simply to contact our leads. And this is what we can do through Google Maps. Alpha web scraping is a powerful and useful technique. It doesn't imply that we can scrape every kind of data. And above all, it doesn't imply that we can scrape data without paying attention to possible restrictions. If we take Google Maps as an example, we can only retrieve public information. It means data which can be found both on the listing page and on the detailed page. In other words, we can extract from the company's name to its service options, including phone numbers, addresses, ratings, and so on. And that's not all we can get a more comprehensive set of data. Indeed, we can collect data which are related to companies, but which are not directly shown on the Google Maps platform. It can be done if, and only if, the company has got a website. In that case, we will take a look at the URL and identify SEO-related data, but also social media links and email addresses if available. However, it still raises one question. Why is Google Maps a good platform for web scraping? Google Maps is a good platform for web scraping for three reasons. To begin with, it's a comprehensive database. We have already talked about previously. Google Maps allows us to get tens of different fields tens of different columns, but Google Maps is also comprehensive regarding the categories included. You can mainly find small and medium-sized businesses on Google Maps. In other words, there are nearly 4,000 different categories on the platform. If you want to have access to the full list, we we'll let you a link in the description. Secondly, Google Maps is available everywhere in the world. It represents 200 million companies, meaning no matter of where you are located, you can probably find businesses, you can probably find leads near your current location. All we have to do is to type a category plus a location and we have access to our leads ready to be scraped. Finally, the last reason why Google Maps is awesome is because Google Maps is a public platform. It's not a social media. You don't have to be logged in to have access to data. This is why scraping Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, all for possible remains something hard to do. You don't have access to much data if you don't create an account. But if you scrape too much data, you will get a warning and your account might be shut down. So you have to create another account and so on. It's an endless loop. It's a battle you cannot win. This is a risk you won't encounter on Google Maps. Anyway, here is a list of what you can do to scrape data from Google Maps. Number one, API. An API allows you to connect different apps together. In order to make the definition of an API understandable, we usually use the analogy of a waiter. Imagine you are in a restaurant. On the one hand, there is you, a customer looking at a menu. On the other hand, there is a cooker willing to, well, cook what you will request. And to make your request as simple as possible, there is an API, which is a waiter. In other words, you send a request to a waiter, we will translate it 
to the cooker and finally will bring you back an answer, which is your meal. The waiter simplifies a process. It prevents you from directly going to the kitchen to prepare your own meal. An API is a useful way to scrape Google Maps. If you want to know more about it, we have already done a video about this topic. You can find the link in the description. However, an API has some limits, some restrictions. For example, not all APIs are public. You might have to use a key in some cases. Number two, Python. We can use Python or other programming languages to script Google Maps. It has some advantages. Unlike an API, we have a perfect control of what we are doing because we have an overview of what our code looks like. Among the drawbacks, it's obviously something difficult to do, mainly done by developers. There is always a mistake we have to fix. Plus, there are lots of different web scraping libraries each one with their own advantages and disadvantages, so we don't always know which one to pick up. Number three, Phantom Buster. Unlike Python, Phantom Buster is an automation and web scraping solution, very easy to implement. Indeed, it's a no-code software, allowing you to automate tasks we usually do on a daily basis from multiple platforms. We have already done a video and a tutorial about Phantom Buster. The link remains in the description. From my own experience, Phantom Buster is an easy all-in-one solution. However, if you don't know where to start, if you have no experience in automation, you might be a bit lost. Phantom Buster always works the same way. We start with an input, which is a Google Maps URL, in our case, then we set up a phantom, a phantom which is a pre-made script allowing us to automate a single task. Finally, we end up with an output which is a CSV file with our leads. However, there is a major drawback with Phantom Buster. When we pay to have access to the premium plans, we pay depending on an execution time and we don't pay depending on a result, meaning if we make it wrong, there is no going back. We are responsible of our own mistakes, which makes sense. Therefore, it's hard to know beforehand what the cost per lead will be. Number four, Octoparse. Octoparse is a web scraping tool created for a broad audience. Nevertheless, from a technical point of view, Octoparse is more difficult than Phantom Buster. If you want to script Google Maps through Octoparse, you've got two options. Option one, you create your own workflow. Basically, you have to give the right direction. Then Octoparse does things automatically. It does require at least a bit of knowledge, like knowing how to write a regex, how to write an XPath, what a loop is, and so on. Option two, you can use a pre-made template, which is obviously way easier. But no matter if you choose option one or option two, because in both cases, you cannot scrape additional unvaluable information like email addresses and social media links. Number five, Chrome extensions. There are a lot of them. Some of them are really easy to use. I know I say that every time, but it's easy, like two clicks and you've got a result. Unfortunately, the easier it is, the less efficient it is. Moreover, when you use a Google Chrome extension, you use your own IP address. It means that if we have a problem with the website we want to script, if we are blocked, our browser is blocked as well. Obviously, there are way more than five ways to scrape Google Maps. There is one last solution we may pay attention to because it addresses all the drawbacks of the five means we have described a minute ago. This solution allows you to scrape Google Maps without writing a single line of code Within a few clicks, you will know the number of leads beforehand. These leads include 
all the data you can find from Google Maps, but also all the data you can find on a website. Finally, you can scrape all 4,000 categories at the scale of an entire country. And you can do that without jeopardizing your IP address. This is the promise of Scrub.io. With Scrub.io, we promise you can turn Google Maps into a leads machine by simply specifying an activity and the location. You have access to a quick demo below, but I think it will be a more suitable example to directly show you what your future Excel file should look like. If you want to use Scrub.io, you can simply type Scrub.io in your search bar or you can click the link in the description. We first need to create our account. Once it is done, you have access to your dashboard. I invite you to click on it and it's the most important tab of the software because it is a tab in which you will be able to retrieve your leads based on two pieces of information. The first one is the activity, meaning you can pick up an activity among the 4,000 different categories listed on Google Maps. Let's say you want to choose a bakery, for example. You can choose another country. And if I click on search, I will be able to select all bakeries from this country. You can even filter your data out a bit more precisely. For example, I can choose a specific state. This is what we call a level one division. It's simply because a level one division depends on which country you picked up. Same thing with a level two division, which is a county in our case. I can also simply type a city. If I want to get bakeries in New York, I type New York, I've got New York, I click on search and it will update my results. The good thing about Scrub.io is that you can filter your data out even more beforehand. If you click on filter, you can see that you've got two different kind of filters, essential and advanced ones. I might want to target bakeries as a main activity and not as secondary activities. Do I want to get closed companies? Maybe not. Companies with a website, with a phone numbers, with an email, with social media links. I also might want to know whether the company has claimed its business on Google Maps. What about the price range? Because obviously a McDonald's restaurant is not the same as a luxury one. I can do a similar thing with the rating the number of reviews and the number of pictures. If I want to get, I don't know, bakeries with a pretty good rating, I can do something like this. And the last two filters are something regarding websites, meaning whether there is a contact form on the website or at pixels. Let's say yes, and I don't matter about that one. I click on filter and I will get an updated data set. I've got around 97 results, which is great because thanks to the free plan of Scrub.io, you can get up to 100 leads free of charge. I can click on export. If I click on advanced options, I will have an overview of all the columns I will retrieve. I can also say that I want to get the first 30 rows or something like that, it's up to you. Then I give to my export a name. I click on export and as you can see, now I'm automatically in the My Exports tabs. You can download all your results in a CSV or Excel file. You can also update your results. All I need to do is to wait for a bit of time and I will see you back once I've got my Excel file. What do we have here? We've got 97 data rows, which is correct. We start with basic columns. The name of the company, whether it's closed or not, the main type and all types, as we have mentioned it earlier. The website, and it's a good thing because it clearly shows us that our filters worked well. The phone number, the full address, which is divided into different subtypes the streets, the cities, the postal codes, the states, the level one, level two divisions, the country, the longitude and the latitude, the link 
of the Google Maps detail page. We've got the email address because the company has got a website and if the company has got a website, we'll take a look at additional pieces of information. The email address is followed by social media links. We've got the price range, review counts, review rating, review per score, the number of pictures, the URLs of some of these pictures, the occupancy, which is related to the graph you might see on your screen, whether the business has been claimed on Google Maps, or not. The working hours, the characteristics, so this is the about tab, what we have called the service options. The color changes one more time, meaning now we have access to SEO fields, meaning the website title, the meta keywords, description, image, generator, additional email addresses, same thing with contact pages, contact pages number one, up to five contact pages. Same thing with social media links, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook. And we end up with website technologies and website ad pixels. For example, we know that this company uses Facebook ads on that one, LinkedIn ads. This is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you want to know a bit more about the different means to script Google Maps, you can find all the links in the description. Same thing with scrap.io if you are interested in taking a look. Finally, you can give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.